Hey guys, how are you? This is Eric Bramlett with Bramlett Residential. And today we are here to talk about the September 2024 Austin Metro real estate market statistics. So the month of September 2024, we did see some market movement downwards, which we don't like to see, but which was relatively expected given the election and given the fact that mortgage rates have not improved considerably yet. We saw total sales decline by 8% and we saw average and median price both decline by 5%. Neither of those numbers are huge, but they are going in a direction that we don't like. We do expect that to reverse whenever mortgage rates begin to improve uh, at a better scale early in the year of 2025. We did see pending units increase by 9% in the, month, in the month of September, which was a pleasant surprise. We expect to see sold units uh, follow that trend next month as pending units are a leading indicator. New listings were almost, were almost exactly flat at minus 0.6%. Withdrawn and expired listings also almost entirely flat at 1.3%. But active listings did increase by 13% as fewer homes left the market. If we want to look at one statistic that does the best job of explaining what's going on this year, that would be total volume sold. In the month of September, we saw a decrease of 13% in dollar volume transacted in the month of September 2024 versus the month of 2023. This has caused the year-to-date numbers to turn negative. We now have transacted 4% uh, lower volume in the year 2024 year to date versus versus the year 2023. 2023 was obviously not a great year and it looks like 2024 is going to finish the year a little bit worse than 2023. Looking at average and median sold price, which is understandably what most buyers and sellers care the most about, the pricing has been stable now for over a year. Prices are just not moving up and down very much at all. We're seeing normal seasonal increases in price in the spring and early summer months. And then we're seeing normal drops in price that we see almost every year in the fall and winter months. But overall, you can look at the trend line and it's almost exactly flat. So real estate is a safe buy and it also is a safe hold right now. We do think that looking at the 2024 year in the rearview mirror in a year or two, this will have been a buying opportunity in retrospect. New listings uh, on a month over month basis are following normal seasonal trends, meaning fewer new listings are hitting the market in the month. I'm sorry, fewer new listings hit the market in the month of September. And we expect to see fewer listings continue to hit the market as we move into the holiday season. Pending units also go down every year in the fall and winter months. And 2024 has been no different. It was a bit of a surprise to see pending units buck the trend. I'm sorry, buck the overall downward trend on a year over year basis and to see pending units increase in the month of September 2024 versus 2023. But overall, uh, pending units did decline versus August. And that is something that we expect to see every year. So what's driving all of this? Well, obviously, the election. There's a lot of anxiety in the air and uncertainty over the election, and that will end in about a month. I can't wait for that to be over. I'm sure you're in the same boat. And mortgage rates. So mortgage rates have been high for the past 24 months. We had great news from the Fed about a month ago that they finally started easing. We saw a half a point drop in the Fed rate, but that was priced into mortgages already. So we didn't see mortgage rates move at all. Now, we do expect the Fed to continue lowering rates well into 2025. So we do expect to see mortgage rates drop in Q1 and Q2 of 2025. We expect that to sort of unfreeze the market, start thawing the market, and we, still, we will start seeing things move again. The big question mark is the job market. So Austin is obviously an incredibly tech heavy city. And uh, there was a lot of exuberant hiring done uh, during COVID whenever money was very loose. Uh, and since the peak in 2022, we've just seen a straight line decline in tech hiring and we're waiting for that to uh to end we're waiting for that trend to reverse for us to go back to our normal bullish market that we're also used to in uh in the city in the city of austin so if so if you're a buyer what do you do well if you're a buyer and you're in the market you're in pretty good shape there is a good amount of inventory to choose from pricing is relatively soft and sellers who are on the market right now uh, who want to sell 
will be relatively competitive with pricing. Wait and see also makes a lot of sense. My gut is that you'll probably pay a little bit more for the same home in the spring, but you'll probably see mortgage rates a little bit lower. So your monthly payments probably won't change very much if you choose to buy in the spring or if you choose to buy right now. If you're a seller, you need to be very realistic about the market that we're in right now. Fall and winter are almost always the slowest times of the year in Austin Metro. And we're in one of the most sluggish markets we've seen in a long, in a long time. You have election on top of that, and you have the fact that mortgage rates have not started to improve just yet. Uh, it means that if you need to sell in 2024, you need to be competitive with pricing. You might even need to get into sort of an aggressive price range. We do expect the market to come back to some extent in the spring. So if you're a seller that has flexibility to hold on, you might pull the property off the market over the holidays, relist it early spring next year, and you'll have a bit of a better experience at that at that time. If you're an agent, you know, in business planning, uh, it's a long game, right? So you want to plan uh, for a bit of a rebound next year. And we do believe that the market recovery will begin in early 2025. So you should plan for that. Always remember the only people that die on the roller coaster are those that jump off. So if you stick and uh, ride out the roller coaster, everything should work just fine for you. We love talking about this stuff. So if you're a buyer or a seller who would like to strategize your own purchase or your own, or your own sale, please reach out to me. Love to talk with you. Love to strategize business planning with agents as well. So if you're an agent and you'd like to talk about what you can do to ride out this bad market, how you can prepare for the market recovery, please reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you about that as well. I'm Eric Bramlett. I'm with Bramlett Residential. I'm very happy that you showed up today and listened to this. So thank you for that. And if I can help anybody at all, please reach out. Thanks so much.